Good evening, and welcome back to The Crust. Well, we are in a little bit of a predicament. Um, we don't have any power, that's the main thing, but um, we're trying to work on that and figure that out. Um, the main issue we're having is aluminium. We don't have any aluminium, which is a problem. I should turn the repeater off, that's not actually needed. Once, once you've... Uh, did we actually scan the moon? Did we do that? Uh, we haven't scanned the moon yet. Okay, so the repeater's never been powered. Okay, we'll scan the moon soon. Um, that's fine. Um, but yeah, we have we have a, a lack of power, which is causing the problem. Um, and uh, we need we need aluminium to fix that. There is no aluminium underground, which means we don't have any, which is a real real pain. Um, but hey ho, that's um. That's just what we're going to get. That's fine. Okay. Uh, so we'll have to buy the aluminium in, which is, is fine. We can do that. We have the resources. It's fine. We have the uh, the money for that. However, um, there is a... Why are there two power grids? Oh, what have I done? What have I done here? What have I done here? <clears throat> Secondary generates nothing. Controls nothing. That's nothing. Um... Oh, let's disconnect that wire there. Connect you to there. Disconnect that one there. Ah, uh, yep, I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it, and I know what I've done. That needs to connect to there. There we go. Now there's two wires there because that's misleading. There we go. Now we have the one power grid. Awesome. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. So, Mercury. Uh, Mercury. Not Mercury. Um, for Astro Conley in the brain. Aluminium needs to be brought in because we can't do anything. We have two contracts that we want to complete as well. The reason I'm running through the contracts very quickly is that I want to get them done to get the bonuses for stuff and um, to get the money in uh, because we get loads of money in. Then once we get loads of money and we can do stuff with it, we can spend it to, to get things. However, there is a other side to this, which I had only kind of just realized. Um, the game is story based so by that what i mean is obviously there is a story to play through and you can do that you don't have to rush these contracts because most of them are infinite so that's fine but when you complete one mission a new one opens and when you complete another mission another one opens so on and so forth i think by flashing through these contracts i'm going to end up getting to the point where they want us to build the laser turret like now and that is a timed mission you you only get so many you only get like a couple of years to make that and we do not have a base at all prepared to do those but i still want to make the money on this so i do think that this is not necessarily a tutorial one not the uh the south wind ones um i don't think these are the ones that um uh ledger um, sort of address a few. This is the uh, the one where you choose you choose either you choose either Aurora project, one of the two Aurora projects. And I think the idea of them is that it's supposed to be okay. This is the next mission. Build the stuff you need. to get this. So this is where we should be in our tech tree and in our production thing right now. And obviously we're not because I have been buying them in. So. Um, I think I'm going to carry on with that. <laughs> Honestly, I think I'm going to carry on with that. Uh, this one does actually have a console. We want to, we want to do this here. So um, uh, we have 50 frames. We want to buy modular terminals in. We need to buy five of them for the main mission we have here. Uh, I'll be down to find out how much they're supposed to be. So I'm going to just buy 20 in. I think um, like that. But um. Um, and then drop a cargo pod down here. Now, I've got loads of cargo pods down here and I keep putting them more around and with things, you can place them on top of each other. That's fine, I know that. Um, uh, I just, I forget it's a thing. Once the uh, ship has left, these are basically just dead carcasses and you can dump stuff on top of them, it's not a problem. I'm not too fast about cleaning them up. Um, yeah, I've got stuff dotted around doing things, um, mainly because the bots are busy uh, doing things like filling stuff up or change that they're, they're they're too busy to empty these into storages underground that we have so um yeah plus we really should change this up underground here so i think we should do that sooner rather than later which does mean speed up time go faster 
Um, I need to get some power going and I need to probably shut down production of these here um, and then do things. So, so what do we have? We have titanium, we have um, uh, whatever this is, aluminium. Um, this is iron. Uh, this is silicon. We don't have any aluminium. We've got silicon there as well. We've got iron there, so that's not so bad. So what I want to do is um, I want to go this way with our production. So I want to have like the regular here the multi regular ones here and then have production go this way wouldn't be a problem i don't think that'd be a problem so if we'll do this i might come Research down with it um so do you mind that one out please um i might uh have the smelters uh like the uh, the regular machines up here facing downwards though so like here facing down the smelters here facing across, so the 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 um, water regular machines come out, go this way, come down. The smelters go in. That goes across to here, um, and then we have all our machines and stuff here, and we have boxes, up, which means that we can have elevated things come up here with different resources on them, which will make life easier for us, much easier for us to do things. So that's the plan. Um, However, uh, in order to do that, we do need to get a surplus of things like a surplus of bricks and other bits pieces. And I'm using a lot of them in places doing things. We have a lots of money. We could absolutely buy them in. That's not a problem. Let's also actually do this contract, shall we? Um, you want 15 modular frames and you want 30. So send. Okay. Boom. Oop. Oh. We have found the automated laser infometric gravitational wave observatory. Network of five observ observatories were constructed on the moon with active participants from across between 2073 and 2079. Primary goal of the project was to detect and study gravitational waves of cosmic origin. Makes sense. Building, they're not telescopes, they're gravitational telescopes, but, but building stuff on the moon means that you are not, uh, you don't have to deal with Earth atmosphere, Earth's gravity, all that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah. Um, so. Yeah, we would actually do this. We should do this. We should build giant telescopes on the moon. It makes sense. It makes sense. We can make them very, very big. You can make them big when they're floating in space as well, but on the moon means you can get uh, support for them easier because you can actually have people living on the moon. So we could do it now. Build, go to the moon. Uh, the observatory was damaged by an explosion, but there may still be valuable equipment and data regarding the nature of the recent disaster. Perhaps we're sending a rover with drones to investigate. Okay, well, we can't do that because, yeah. Um, you want components which we don't have because we don't we don't have the components. You need to make the components, so that's fine there. We also want to make a room for some people and do things. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put the room. Probably just down here. Um, and then our people can walk out to their places wherever they want to walk out to. That's fine. Uh, the other thing as well that I'm kind of... Send me tempted to do what's down here. Oh, down there. Right there. Um, would be to run the manufacturers, start like the multi regular machines here. Oh, wasting science. Uh, what science are wasting? Engineering. So, yeah, do that one. You've done that one already. Do that one. You've done that one already. Urgh. Do that one. Here you go. Okay, there we go. So, we've got some. So, um, and have it come down and then have it smelt the stuff and come down. And, and do all the things coming down. The problem to that is that you then split your resources, which isn't a terrible thing. Like we'd split the, um, like we'd, we'd smelt the iron and then we'd have it go down and up. And any resource goes down and up. And up here is where we have the storages. And then directly above here is where we have the elevators and the, um, the landing pads to sell things. And then Below it is where we have all the manufacturers, and that sends stuff around. So, kind of tempted to do that. Um, let's put in a observe observatory. Let's put in a um, ball detector, and let's just do, 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 do that just to get that going. So, yeah. Okay. So, contract complete. Awesome. We made one hundred seventy-two thousand. We spent one hundred thirty-four on the. An interesting things. contract Ooh. has come in from the Meta Society. They're requesting materials to complete the construction of the first floating city. Okay. Um, yeah, I will accept this mission. Uh, there is no deadline. There is no deadline. So, accept. Boom. Let's have a look at the contract. Wasting more science. Urgh. 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 Right. Uh, stop. Pause for a minute. Let's have a look at science. Oh, we're wasting um, social science now. 
so we're going to need the ice melter because that's needed for um, actually doing um, stuff here. I'm not rushing the uh, layout room because I don't think we need to rush that at all for the people. So, so yeah, so we want to complete the um, uh, this contract. Does this contract have a timer on it? We do it within 70 days, we get a bonus, so that's fine. Um, might hold off on some of these for a little bit. But I do want to get this done before, so we have the contract here, so like a composites and compound, but I want to hold off for a bit so we don't complete it too early. Um, because I need to hold off on the, I need, we need to get the base built, but I need to find aluminium. This is this is the biggest problem. I need to find aluminium, um, which is a real pain in the, in the everything at the moment, so. <clears throat> because we can't do this here, so maybe I should buy some aluminium in the rover. I oh, the rover on that. Okay, where can you go? Let's see, let's see, let's send you, uh, let's go up, let's send you there, investigate the refinery, boom, that's not the quickest way to get there, technically the quickest way is directly over, but yeah, this is a, a cube map to a sphere, so, um, or a flat, a flat, oh wow, Jeez. we need more fundamental science, we really need more fundamental science, um, get the, Facilities. Yeah, we are. We are. We have got loads of science coming in. We really need to get some more fundamental to try and catch up on stuff. Maybe we should pay a visit to the other the other place here, the private lab, and um, uh, get some fundamental science coming in. So could be wasting science points once again. We are. We, we've filled the engineering up on that, and then we're wasting the engineering science. So um, I'm just going to waste it. I'm just going to waste it for a bit. I can't. I can't keep chopping and changing and doing things because we end up with so much done here and not done there and okay uh you're still after components you need two more components that's fine All right so let's buy in some more aluminium i'm gonna buy in a whole stack of the stuff um it's expensive in fact it's very expensive it's no i'm not gonna buy it in we'll wait okay um so I need to get the power system running and then, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Bump. Copy that one. Bump. Copy those. Bump. 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 And then. Power. Bump. And then power. Power. Bump. And then we put in a power line there, which gets that one and that one. There we go. Okay. We can't build this because we don't actually have any plants for it. So, uh, any uh, aluminium for it. So, um, but that's okay. That's okay. Power will go down again as well now wasting two lots of science that will absolutely use up our it costs 400 for these but yeah they all require fundamental which is way above our um thing let's put that one up there actually because that's quicker fundamental wait for this one to finish and then we'll add the extended trade license to it because that will start using our social up you can do that and then our engineering will come up we can go to engineering and do something in there as well so boom there you go oh wow that's almost done anyway cool please um engineering uh multi-regolith upgrade let's do the multi-regolith upgrade there's nothing of, nothing we can put in that's like these are done uh like most of the stuff i'm like I'm looking at it and being like it's six thousand, but it's also four and a half thousand um fundamental. So it's not really an engineering project. It's it's primarily an engineering project, but like that, that's better. That's seven and a half thousand to four and a half thousand, but Director, CPU is the heart of our base, responsible for all computational tasks. Our automated production requires enormous computational power. Every module built and every drone operating uses CPU. We will soon reach the limit, and to continue construction, we will need data centers. An important note, if I may. Data centers are very particular about installation conditions and require a lot of microcircuits and microprocessors. It would be more cost-effective to focus on optimizing existing production. More technologically advanced modules consume less CPU. 
By studying new technologies, we can replace low efficiency modules and free up CPU for other tasks. For example, one large solar panel generates almost as much energy as a dozen small panels with significantly lower CPU costs. Yes, you are correct. One large one generates about a dozen as what this one does. However, the medium solar panels are by far the better ones. So, yeah. Um, so, I'm going to get rid of all of this here. I think, I think we're going to get rid of all this here. Our batteries are discharging. We only have enough power for 6.5 days. I think the sun comes up soon, but... um. So yeah, so if we get rid of all this here, none of this has got aluminium in it anyway, but um, and we're moving it all down here. This is being built slowly, but that's because we've got only got 10 drones right now, two mining, and uh, two of them are in here to be delivered off when you get one more component. So let's... Um, just remove all of the old battery system here pick up the resources for it we want to power one up to there to connect to the repeater and we'll power this directly yeah okay go 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 you do that it's fine None of our people are actually, uh, none of our drones are moving stuff around yet, so that's all right. I'm going on here, these are all solar panels, and unfortunately they all, they all use small, they put loads of small power. We, we could use the small batteries, we could just spam the small batteries and have a, like, a load of small batteries. Um, they do require one CPU, whereas these require three, but they are five times more effective than those. I think it's just better to buy the aluminium in to fix those. Research complete. Research complete. Okay, research complete. Awesome. I'm going to Hey, you got loads of it done. We thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, let's add those two back to the list. Um, not any of them requiring engineering. Um, so what can I actually research that requires lots of engineering? Modular terminals. Let's do that. That's going to be useful. We actually need modular terminals for things. Uh, and Mark three conveyor belts. We're jumping ahead here a fair bit. Uh, large storage would be useful as well. Let's do that. Okay, but on right. So you should now get your final one and away you go. You're on your mission, uh, which is this one up here. Go to the cargo terminal. Did take some aluminium to build, but that's fine. Um, let's see here. So, right, you. how long have you got on this? 50 days. How long we've got on this? 47. So we both need to do these at the same time. How much is the components? Let's have a look see here. So how much is composites and carbon fiber? Let's have a quick look see here. So carbon fiber is has been a lot cheaper, so we won't buy that. And composites have been a lot cheaper, we won't buy that. We can be picky because we've got time. Uh, titanium plates and modular. Now we're making titanium plates, so we might be okay for that. But modular frames we're not making. Modular frames are cheap. So I think we're going to buy the modular frames in for this. So 60, let's buy, um, how many do we have? We have 20. Let's buy 50 in. Well, it's 125,000. Um, 200,000. Eh, we're probably going to lose money on this contract, so we'll buy those in. That's a whole stack. Um, titanium plates is uh, 74, 84. Me. We need to buy 50 titanium plates in. Any plates are kind of expensive right now. Yeah, very expensive. Okay, so 50 would be 32,000. It's not bad, but nah, we'll leave it. Aluminium's still there. Yeah, we'll leave that for a minute. Okay, so cargo pod, just go down there. It's fine. Just keep dumping them down here. It's fine. This is not where our landing pad's going to live. This is just where it is at the moment. It's going to go over here. This, this is the pad. It's going to go over here further. So it should be better for that. Much better for that. So, okay, 
So take that, build that, do this, and then our power has jumped from 80 to 200 now already. Awesome, so that's helpful. Um, I probably want to put in some more solar panels and get them doing things. What I should do as well is the end solar panels I should connect to each other. Um, although that's not going to work for us, is it? No, because... Um, yeah, that won't work for us because uh, you can only connect those two and then can't connect to the other one because they can't go three connectors, they can go two. So, um, we could uh, put in a one on the end and connect. I, I think we'll just go to the center, it's fine, it's fine. So this this line and this line, this line. Well, I could figure out the ends and put like power lines down the end as well, so we have redundancy that way as well, but not really needed, not really needed. I'm just thinking if I want to put some more solar panels in without the, uh, the batteries. I do kind of want to do. You can't build here. And then wire them up. Because we don't have the aluminium to build anymore. Well, we've got some batteries. Let's see. So, uh, how much do they cost? They require five. So, we can make three batteries. So, I think what I want to do is I'm just going to wire these into their um, Kevin Center. We can always put the batteries in and then disconnect them later. That's not a problem at all. And that would just make sure our batteries are getting 100% charged. At the moment, um, I might I don't know what we'll do actually. What we'll do is we'll put in more batteries. Like that. And then we'll have these ones connect to the end here. So, because we can afford to build that. I studied 10, we have 16. So, okay, more research is complete. Awesome. We are flying through our research. Uh, let's get the multi regulative upgrade 2 as well. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, Director, the communication system for the cargo terminal is active again. I'll try to establish contact with Hope 2. Director, finally. We're ready to depart at any moment. Just provide the terminal coordinates. What? You weren't informed? Mm. I'm afraid we're not in a position to disclose other people's secrets. Our lives now depend on crust goodwill. Send the coordinates. We'll deliver the package to your leadership. Hurry up. Our time is running out. Huh? Of course I gave the data to Hope 2, but what did they actually mean? Crust is not telling us something. It's not surprising that Crust is utilizing others for its own purposes, but if I were you, Director, I'd ask them a few questions. They have signed us up for a complex secret mission, and the least they can do is tell the truth. Connecting with Clyde. You must understand that under the current conditions, Crust's priority is to save as many lives as possible. This is not just about the crew of Hope 2. We need to understand the origins of the accident, and make sure that it never happens again. We've requested Hope 2's navigational materials and flight recorder for examination. As soon as you receive them, Transmit the coordinates of the Atlantis Research Complex to the station crew. Don't forget that all the data you receive is strictly confidential. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. It's a strange feeling indeed. Crust is working to rescue the crew and contributing to the benefit of humanity. Yet they're holding hostages on the damaged station. I'm not sure I feel comfortable participating in this operation. It's not a good idea to question Crust's methods. At least not openly. Only by participating in this operation can we influence the course of events. We'll make sure the crew is safe, Ratchet. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. So, um, let's have another quick look see here. So, we've got enough modular frames we need to take. We are making, so I think we're going to make these. So, this will be fine. So, I'm not going to buy the turning plates in. Um, composites and carbon fiber. Uh, just have another very quick look. Carbon fiber is it's coming down, but I know it goes. It, I've seen it below 600 a lot, so 700. So we'll wait till it's below 700. 
and god this is like way above this yeah we're right for this this is about eight thousand so okay okay so another night time is coming our solar panels have stopped producing we're now consuming power rather than using it uh, but we have enough power for well we gotta wait for night time wait for night time to actually drop our solar panels to go away excuse me and then it will tell us exactly what we're gonna get oh excuse me when we have enough power for 14 days we're okay okay boom here we go we have 15 days yes it's fine so 14 days is all we need for power to last us so we were actually running for the whole night without using all the power now unfortunately uh we want 239 power we currently have 200 so i do need these two batteries made but there's no point in making Director, them because they can't a charge has arrived at the cargo terminal get it using the rover and contact the station Okay, we need to send an expedition here. Well, I need to wait for you to get over here first, so that can wait a moment. That's fine. Um, Atlantis Research Complex serves so a center for study fluid. What? Oh, that's a thing I need to study as well. But, so, yeah. So, okay. So, we have things to do, um, but one more over to do the other thing first. So, um, I'm going to look at building. Uh, there uh we need to get some more drones as well i need so many things now, i don't want to spend all the money because i want to spend the money on doing the contracts so uh 9600 so we're good for that how are we doing for so to drop off you are allowed to drop off in here i think the drones are just so busy doing things that it's not there so so right so i've shut this down here so that we can um i want to delete this and swap it so it's facing a different direction so we can build the regolith up against it so let's do that let's get rid of this get rid of this belt get rid of this cable here and this is where our multi regolith is going to go okay and research complete. smart concrete factory excellent we desperately want that that's very good components upgrade uh this is what ratchet was talking about with um upgrading things so um the smart component factory requires two CPU, and if we build a second one, it will require four CPU. Um, sorry, the component factory. But if we was to upgrade it, it will need the same amount of CPU and become 50% faster. So you need to upgrade it to level two to make it worthwhile of having two of the factories, but you're still using the same CPU. So upgrading them is good, especially if you get colonists and things inside them as well. So I think we're gonna go down that route. I think we're gonna have single ones. We will put colonists in at some point, I'm just not going to rush with them. I'm not going to rush with them. That's all. So, okay. Uh, we've also got these um, things on the floor that I really need to. Uh... Are you allowed your? What we got on the floor here. Hold on. Pause the game. Moment. We got ice, ice, and what looks like aluminium, uh, or maybe things going on. There. I'm not sure. Titanium. Uh, what I should do is I should allow these guys to be dropped off inside as well. Our drones can pick up the uh, ore that's on the floor because we do have some ores that are on the floor um, and be dumped into these ones here, so fine. Okay, so if we copy this and I put this down here, so we know we can only get one in here, is that right? One, two, three. We tried this before. Yeah. no way i can get more than one in here so one two three it says no and i can't go up any higher so so okay so we're going to get one miner in here so i'm going to put the, the miner up as high as i can get it back as far as i can get it so there that's mining that silicon which is weird but okay then we're going to use multi regular machines multi regular machines are better than the single regular machines because instead of taking in the uh um the regolith and only producing slag and like silicon for instance it will actually extract all of the stuff from it completely so i'm gonna figure out a layout i need to uh build the layout and figure out that, and then we'll come back next episode and i will show what i've done and figure out from there because i don't know what sort of layout i'm gonna go with yet so yeah but we'll be back next episode and we will carry on from there Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this one, and I hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun.